We've been exploring the theme of ideas and how to inspire them. But thinking burns up energy. What better way to replace all the killer jewels that our brains have consumed than to sit down and enjoy a lazy Sunday lunch, which is what Fatima and Zainab Park are about to prepare. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's theme is lazy afternoon lunches and we're keen to show you what we've prepared for you. On the menu today we have lamb kofta rolls, chickpea pilaf and an aubergine and pomegranate salad. To start, let me get my eggs, the onion, chopped coriander and parsley and the tomato paste. Now for the spices, adding in the green chilies, chilli powder, the crushed chilies, black pepper, some salt and garlic. Now to get our hands nice and messy, I'm massaging the mince, all of these ingredients. It works best if you use your hands to mix all of this into the mince because it all gets mixed well and you know your seasoning is just balanced throughout the mince. But remember, you'll need to wash your hands when you're done because you've got chili in here and you don't want to have that burn. So now I'm just smearing this gooey mince onto my pastry. Make sure you smooth it out into all the corners because you don't want to be eating just pastry and no filling. So just pat it down with your palms to make sure it's all smooth and even. I'm going to start from one end and roll it all the way down. We want to keep it nice and tight so that the roll is nice and compact. So the roll is ready and I need to place it onto a tray that has greaseproof paper on it because the last thing you want is to have your pastry stuck onto your tray. I'm just going to grab my egg wash and the nigella seeds and I'm going to brush the top of the pastry with our egg wash. You want to be quite liberal when you're basting the pastry with the egg because it contributes a lot to the beautiful golden colour of your pastry. Next, you just have to sprinkle over the nigella seeds all over the centre and the stalk of the black against the pastry really, really stands out. We're ready for the oven now. Actually, I'm super hungry as well. I'll be making a chickpea pilaf. We're putting the stoves on and let's start with the oil. We've got our sliced onions in the pan. And we have our diced onions here. These need to be nice and golden. And we have our sliced onions, which need to caramelize, because this is actually for the garnish. You want to do this slowly. Let's add in our cumin seeds. You want them to get nice and roasted. Let's add in the garlic. I like to be very generous with garlic. The flavor of this is just amazing. And then we're going to add in our butter. Let's not forget this pan. We don't want the onions to get burnt. This is ready. I'm just going to put this off and leave it on the stove. Next, let's add in the chickpeas. You must give it a good stir. You want the flavors to get into everything. Then we're adding in our tomato puree and chopped tomatoes. Give this a good stir. And the best item next, our tabbouleh. This must be well mixed. You want it to be coated with all the flavors. And then lastly, you're adding in your water. And season with some salt and black pepper. Let's give this a good stir. Let's leave this to simmer. And we can get started on our brinjal and pomegranate salad. Zena, will you fry the brinjal while I make the dressing? Sure. For the dressing, we need harissa paste. Harissa is actually a Moroccan paste that's made with roasted red peppers and red chilies. Pomegranate molasses. And this is like really, really smooth pomegranate syrup. Honey, you want to just pour all the honey. Tomato puree. And finally, the olive oil. So now you just want to give this a nice mix for our brindle. Our pan's nice and hot. Let's start with putting in the oil first. Throw in our cubed brindle. And let's throw the balance in. Give that a quick mix. You want the brindle to get nice and soft, well coated, and a tad bit of brown. You must keep stirring. You don't want this to burn. This is going to be another five minutes. The dressing is ready, so you can add that. And I'm just going to check on my pastry in the oven. Perfect.
So we're just lifting up the lamb kofta roll and placing it onto my serving platter. So this is ready to serve now with a dip as well. So our bread rolls are looking good. They're beautiful golden colour. It's time to add in our bread. Now it's time to add in our dressing. The mix of the harissa and the pomegranate molasses is such a great combination. And the smells are amazing. Give this a good stir and let it mix well. So you want to see soft bread and caramelized brinjal, and then you know it's ready. Bhakti, will you finish the chickpea pilaf while I assemble the salad? Oh, this smells good. Add in a bit of my parsley. Some of the fried onions as well. And just gently toss it through. Looks divine. Now I'm ready to plate. And this chickpea pilaf is ready. So our mix is cool. Let's add in the sun-dried tomatoes and the parsley. Mix it. Make sure the sun-dried tomatoes is evenly spaced out. Next, we're going to garnish it with sliced pistachio and pomegranate rubies. And there you have it, it's ready. And this is our take on a lazy afternoon lunch. We hope we've inspired you to try these recipes out. Chickpeas are rich in protein, offering an alternative to the lamb kofta for vegetarians.